someday in the future, smartphones may become a thing of the past. Imagine every smartphone function integrated into what you wear. Today, we're introducing Xiaomi's first pair of smart eyewear. Calling, viewing, navigating, camera, all integrated in a pair of glasses. Xiaomi Smart Glasses use optical waveguide technology for lens display capabilities. At its core is a 0.13-inch micro-LED display, smaller than a grain of rice. Light output is as high as 2 million nits. Through reflection and diffusion of the optical waveguide lens, a much larger display is offered to the eye. View notification. Phone calls. HUD navigation. Xiaolai Tongshui, translate the menu. Okay, translating the menu. And take photos. It was said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Xiaomi Smart Glasses uses an engineering mindset to create a future viewpoint. As an artist, I'm constantly thinking about the different ways that I can tell stories and share my vision of the world to people. I first saw them and I was like, how does all this technology fit into something so small? The new spectacles are going to allow you to overlay anything you want onto the real world. I like using technology to delight people and immerse them in a world that they couldn't experience in reality. Because I really wanted to use AR in a therapeutic sense Looking at the ebb and flow of water and sea creatures, I think that really inspires my creation. As a black artist, I feel like a lot of young up-and-coming artists are not represented. I wanted to showcase their work in an augmented reality gallery in 3D and show them in a light that is beautiful and just inspirational. Now I can actually walk around and see what I'm capturing and get cool shots to share with my friends. I feel like this generation is going to finally push the new digital frontier. This is going to change the game forever. So I love New Mexico, and I really wanted to sort of create a love poem to New Mexico and an immersive history lesson. You are standing on the rim of the Valle Caldera. I love these historic road signs. They're sort of these funny, archaic things, and I love the idea that it might bring new life to this old way that we used to give people information. I think AR is about having a conversation with the world. I always go back to try to ask really essential questions. What makes us human? What makes us happy? What does it mean to be alive and communicating? I love poetry. I love language. I love words. What would it feel like to walk through a poem? Land Studio is the Swiss army knife of augmented reality creation. The marriage between Lens Studio and these spectacles, they're two devices that were literally designed to work together, so it's such a seamless development experience. It does feel like magic when you are working on the program, Lens Studio, and then you push it to spectacles, and then it's just, it's there. It's right in front of you. And it wasn't there a moment ago. I'm actually coding on this thing. I'm experiencing stuff I've made in it. For me, solving problems is always like human-centered design first. It's all just trial and error of figuring out how to make this experience the best that it can be. The future of AR feels like shared experiences, shared realities. Having artists be a part of the conversation when these things are emerging, I think is gonna create a kinder and gentler world. I wanna create a world where people feel uplifted and I want them to feel heard. AR is such an opportunity to create a more inclusive world. We may not like the way that we've always done that with technology, but this is an opportunity to create a new way. This is how we're going to do things in the future, and it's now. Create the world you want to see.
Blending seamless the virtual with the real, Mad Gaze brings you closer to the future. Maneuver and navigate at your fingertips. See the possibilities.